Now, in this particular case, we totally relied on a new software to run a huge um, adult mass vaccination program. On ground, a lot of health officials have told us that, you know, we ran measles, rubella and pulse polio campaign offline without the software. And we got fairly good results. We were able to vaccinate lakhs of people. In January and February, we saw that there was a huge delay and uh, uh, we, we could vaccinate only few people um, in most of the districts because COVID had multiple glitches um, across India. Do you think that was a huge risk that we have taken that has slowed down vaccination process and we've reached a point where right now we are we are a little behind the COVID surge. I mean, the COVID surge is, is, is two steps ahead of us and in vaccination, we have been behind because of this glitch which happened. I, I com concede the point that when I when we started working on that, there was already some application which was there, and and we did not have time to really remodel or re-engineer or or completely overhaul that application. So what happened in the initial days when the software started, we did have some glitches. So I concede that point. However we actually plugged these glitches very, very, you know, there was some glitches related to OTP not going and stuff like that. So we plugged these glitches in, in a few days time. By, uh, let's say, about 19th or 20th of January, the software had become pretty stable. So that's one thing I would say. Also, the fact that people started using it and they, the problem was not with the software. The problem was with the data. So let me give you an example. As I said in the beginning, we had collected the names of the frontline workers and health workers in Excel sheets. Now, those names were there with the phone number, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the phone, because Excel sheet did not have any validation. So there were phone numbers with nine digits. There were phone numbers with zero, zero. And of course, your uh, uh, newspaper also published, uh, if I remember, uh, you know, uh, some news article from Bihar, if I'm not wrong. Uh, about 000 being the phone number and stuff like that. So basically, because of the data, we could not send the messages to those people because you can't send messages to a 000 phone number. So there were more problems, not with the software, but with the data which actually the software was using. And that was giving, as you know, in computers, you they say, gigo, garbage in, garbage out. So that was one of the problems. I completely do not agree with the hypothesis that COVID delayed the, the vaccination program, not at all. COVID has no role to play in delaying or accelerating the vaccination program. COVID is only an enabling platform which actually records the vaccination and facilitates the vaccination program. So what is uh, the speed, et cetera, is not really in the hands of the software. The speed, et cetera, is a function of multiple things. You know, and generally it's the state governments who are actually doing the real work in the field. They are the ones who are uh, doing the vaccination program. And, and, and therefore to, to say and to blame the software for slowdown is, is certainly not correct. Uh, the, the very fact that software is able to take care of, uh, you know, 4 million vaccinations per day, and that 4 million vaccination also translates to 4 million in eight hours the peak vaccination rate is 1 million per hour. And 1 million per hour translates to a few hundred per second. Now, that is the kind of scalability which the software has got. And the software is capable of taking 10 million per day, even more than 10 million per day, because we have scaled, we have tested and load tested it for, for you know, uh, 10,000 concurrent uh, connections, as I explained to you. So therefore, software is absolutely scalable. And software is only an enabler, a facilitator, and something which makes it easy for both the managers as also the citizens to, to get uh, you know, the vaccinations done and have a record, have a certificate, etc.